Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you something very OP, but very strange. On one lane, Soraka and Italy, Solex and the Drowning Lobster. We're going to show you how you can just freaking own your lane so badly with something we like to call perma spear get ready for this okay so that now we're both in lane the first move I take was infuse so that the drowning lobster can keep those spears going this is a really great way to harass and especially when she hits level 6 um, she really does some damage output even without my heal they can't really do much to me because if I don't give her mana I can still silence them which does quite a bit of damage anyway and the reason why you never ever ever need to go back uh, we both have a heal and I can give us mana so there really is no reason to go B. If you're the one playing as Nidalee, literally do not stop throwing those spears. Just don't at all. And if you're Soraka, keep auto attacking on the champions as soon as they get close. Try and get your Q off as many times as you can. Even your auto attacks are just a great way to harass. Keep your keep infusing Nidalee or if the enemy get too cocky then silence them and if Nidalee's level 6 you can dive them um, get your heal second at level 2 but don't max it first max infuse but if the enemy start to harass you quite a bit then get it level 2 or level 3 you won't need to max it heal first because you have two heals anyway seeing as you have Nidalee who has her heal it's kind of an OP lane anyway. <laughs> Double heal and infinite mana. Perma spear, perma heal. Her heal gives attack speed bonus. Your heal gives armor. So if you heal one, if she heals one person, they get increased armor, increased attack speed, full health, full mana, and then just crazy damage. So yeah, she's just gonna keep tossing out spears. She's trying to dodge some of the minions but the minions keep moving into the spear so it's not doing too well but as soon as she gets her spear up from level 1 anyway no, just look at the damage that wasn't even max range it was like half range and now that I've got star call just to uh, harass a little bit more if they get too close to me I can just reduce their magic resistance which stacks every time you use it which also increases the damage from deadly spear so really good combo lane here um, hope some of you guys try it out it is really fun to play if you want to dominate a lane at the start you obviously won't like see Nidalee's going around to get a spear <coughs> um, you won't dominate your lane like straight away you have to level up a bit but you can hold it off really easy and get some nice harassing like even on my own Skarn is too scared to dive me because he knows I'll just silence him there's the spear there's the Q and it should yep see I leveled it in fuse second to level 2 I think I get it level 3 and then Astral Blessing to level 3 because they do get a little bit of harass and we do push down to like their second turret so it's just to get us a little bit more sustainability see I keep if they get too close just silence them so she can't use her moves so that only we can harass because Corky's the one with range Skarn is just a not uh, just a melee character he's not really got any range on him but he is quite fast for a, for a champion See, silence, can't do anything, Shaka's coming for the gank. Auto attack's going off still. 
gets the kill. Um, I keep going because I know I can harass. Get the silence, get the auto attack, and she's dead. Because Soraka has quite a good range, and her auto attacks still do quite a bit of damage. And if you can get in range for that E, at this level, it's doing 168 damage. And with Nidalee's spear hitting like 200s, that's a lot of harass at this level, seeing as we only have 900 health. That's like a third of your health in two moves. And then you get those auto attacks. It's a really good lane to just dominate completely. They can't do anything. You're full. And you just keep getting kills. And late game is really good because you have Soraka supporting everyone with support items. And Nidalee, she can go AP but still be supporting as well with the heal. Oh, look, mm, yeah, nice harass, nice harass. I'm just going to heal it up. So, look, this is after that. I level up my heal because I'm there is starting to be aggressive for some weird reason after we kill both of them. So, get the kill off, get another auto attack, just keep, keep harassing. Even though they're harassing us, we're going to harass back so we can ha harass a lot more because we have a heal or two. We have two heals. But because mine's a longer cooldown, but heals more, what we tend to do is, if it's a minor injury like Drowning Lobster's Telf, then we'll use his heal. If it's a big, if it was a big chunk like when I was nearly half health, there's Cassiopeia. She's going to die in a second. Um, then I'll use my heal because it will give me armor as well to keep me uh, sustained and alive. Let's have a look what Shaka is. Yeah, he's just fighting Skarna. Skarna's shit. But he dies anyway. Because Shaco and Tristana in this game. We we dominated our lane. But holy crap. What? Good fight. Good fight, Cassiopeia. Yeah. I'm, I'm fucking tank Soraka, bitch. Tank. I tank you and turret shots. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? We ain't going B. We got two heals. So that's what I thought. We ain't going B. It's more like it. A little bit of lag on the lower replay. I don't know what it's doing. Anyway. We get this turret down. And yeah. So try it out guys. Really, really, really cool lane to play. You pretty much just dominate your whole lane. Even if you get ganked. It's kind of impossible for you to die with two heals. Um, I try and take Ghost and Ignite with Soraka. I know she doesn't need kills, but it just increases harass, and the Ghost is good for you to get away, and with Shirelia's Revelry to help other people run away as well, if you need to. You can use your ultimate to heal other lanes, so, like, Tristana's quite low. So, I actually saved her when I used my ultimate to heal myself earlier, so... Which is, you know, it's quite lucky that something like that can happen. But yeah, Nasus is dominating this lane, even though this, it's a 2v1, Nasus is doing really well. So yeah, try it out guys, Nidalee and Soraka on bot lane, double support with Permaspear. Thanks for watching guys, that's Solix on Solix's world for PC gaming. Solix out.